Welcome to PG Tech Tips. In today's video, I will be reviewing Android 7.0 Nougat. Let's get started. Alright, so first off, Android 7.0 has added a few new UI features um, and other customization. One of um, the more notable ones would be they added a lot more emojis so if you're into using a lot of emojis they've added a bunch they've changed the quick setting controls so that they are a lot more streamlined and easier to use and eat a lot easier to edit you just press the edit button and they've got a bunch more over here they also added in invert colors tile you can add so it just inverts the colors not really the most useful thing but if you're into that they have a night mode and in the first iteration of Android uh, 7.0 they the night mode was a lot more usable and it had a lot more features but in the second iteration they got rid of a lot of those features and have what it is now and it all it does is change the tinting of your screen to a lot more warmer colors and it also changes the brightness a little bit so that it's a lot less strain on your eyes at night for nighttime reading. Uh, they added multilingual support so if you speak multi-languages uh, search suggestions will come up in both languages not just the one that you currently speak. They also added multi-window support, so you can press and hold this button, and you can open up supported apps, um, and you can use both apps, so like you can have YouTube in one screen, and you can have, say, your browser in another, and you can be browsing the internet while watching YouTube, which is a very useful feature. You can resize it to different sizes. You can double tap to change between two apps. And that is a very nice feature and very quick. They also made Google a lot more, um, Google Now, sorry, a lot more intuitive and more built into the system. The uh, um, Google Now launcher is a lot more, sh uh, smooth and less uh, granular if that makes any sense I don't know how to really describe it and this iteration of Android versus the previous preview build of 7.0 is lightning fast the preview build was the number five was really fast and responsive, especially compared to the first build. And I've been rocking 7.0 since the first build, and it has had some rocky slopes. But this version, as soon as I updated it, I immediately noted performance gains. Just opening the camera was a lot faster and a lot. Um, Mostly just a lot faster and a lot um, more consistent in what you get. Whereas in the preview build, it wasn't. Um, back in Marshmallow, they iterated Doze, integrated Doze, which is a feature for battery saving where if you set your phone down for a long period of time, it would turn off a lot more functions in order to save power. But this time, they actually have it so that it'll iterate, um, it'll use those functions even when it's in your pocket and you're just walking around. They have Vulcan uh, built into the system. They also have Daydream, which is their uh, VR virtual world for built-in Android. It is a lot more secure. As we've already seen, Google has been putting out their monthly security updates. This is even more secure and they have a lot more hoops to jump through if you want to do more customizations and whatnot. But it's still 
is easy to do compared to like Samsung's uh, devices, at least for Nexus. But it is a lot more secure, and they actually have special boots just to keep it even more secure. They also have something called Direct Boot, which allows your apps to run before you even unlock the screen and while they're booting. They have a super encrypted um, file system, so that, again, security. Uh, that's the main topics. They also, I've probably already shown you this, you can scroll from the side to get quick settings, which is nice. They have a cheesy little uh, Easter egg, and you have to go through a bunch of hoops to get into it. It's kind of difficult, but you can, once you get it, you scroll down, and you have a little widget here with empty dish. You can put a food there. Say, I just put that food, and then it'll go empty, and it'll say, you've caught a cat. And this is for all the Pokemon Go things that's been going around, and you can rename the cats. It's really funny, goofy, not a big deal, super chill. They also have the uh, Nexus launcher. I'm not even sure if that's actually by Google. I'm pretty sure it is. And it's... It's really different. That's not implemented in this, um, because I have Now Launcher installed. I don't know if it is without Now Launcher. I haven't actually run it without Now Launcher, because I love Now Launcher. It's my favorite launcher so far, but trying Nexus Launcher on a different device, it is very different, and maybe I'll do a whole review of the, um, the best launchers for fall 2016, like I did in the spring, but that is really it for Nougat, super fast, super secure and a ton of new features, and a lot better battery life. Thank you for joining me. This is PG Tech Tips, signing out.